the Fed put is back, meaning if things do slow down, the Fed's going to cut rates at some point. And if the economy stays strong like it has been, and I think that's why inflation has been so stubborn to some extent, is the fact that the economy is doing well. Um, they don't need to cut, and we saw that with earnings, right? Earnings beat by 9 percent this past quarter. Um, so as long as projections for earnings are strong, yeah, that'll be good for the market. But I think from an economic perspective, it's like even if bad news comes in, that means the economy is slowing. Well, the Fed can cut interest rates. But if it stays strong and they don't cut, that means the economy is running on all four cylinders. Well, I mean, look, that's the debate, isn't it? How right. strong the economy is. And that leads you to the debate about the Fed. For example, yesterday, Stephanie Pomboy was on this program. She doesn't think the economy is strong at all. Watch this. They're on hold uh, until a wheel falls off, and I anticipate the wheel is going to fall mm -hmm. off sometime reasonably soon. And then they will, as is their standard operating procedure, hysterically panic and rush in and cut rates and expand the balance sheet again. So I, I do think we will see rate cuts, but they will come after the crisis. Perhaps we go into a recession. Yep. Perhaps the economy weakens further. That will be the that will be the trigger for the Fed to actually cut rates. What we've seen in terms of the move in the unemployment rate, we may be in recession already. That five-tenths increase may not sound like much, but historically, yeah. once you move five-tenths, yeah. you go an up straight line to up three percentage points. So we may uh, have started the recession already. Yeah. I mean, she's, she's talking about these schemes of pay, you know, buy now, pay later, uh, consumers using credit cards, inflation still a problem. She says when you look under the hood, it's not all that great. Uh, I think that's a dangerous game to play. I mean, look, if you've been betting against the consumer, you've been dead wrong. If you've been getting against the employment market, you've been dead wrong. I think that's going to continue. 3.9% unemployment, that's a 50-year low. <laughs> you know? And if you look at that Joel's report last month, you still have you know, plenty of job openings versus people looking for jobs. Small businesses increased 40% job openings last month. I'm a small business. I have to hire like two people right now. I'm like a microcosm of most small businesses. And if you look at incremental price hikes by small businesses, they're at the lowest level. So I think moderating inflation, strong employment market means the, you know, the consumer, which the sun rises in the east, you never want to bet against that American consumer, they're going to continue to spend money.